Hello, we're looking at the specimen of a heart and you can see that the left ventricle has been opened and we can also see the proximal ascending aorta as well as the aortic valve. Now most of the pathology is centered in the proximal ascending aorta as well as the aortic valve. So let's take a closer look. We can see that the intimal surface of the aorta is actually um, very furrowed and very irregular and this is called a tree bark appearance because it resembles a tree bark. The reason for this is a type of infective aortitis known as syphilitic aortitis. So syphilis actually affects the vasa vasorum of the vessel and here is just a diagram of an artery and we can see that the vasa vasorum is located in the adventitial layer. The vasa vasorum actually supplies blood to the wall of the vessel. So when this is damaged in syphilis, uh, because there is a lot of chronic inflammation, lymphoplasmacytic inflammation, and um, as a result you get this obliterative endarteritis, the damage to the elastic tissue within the tunica media as well as the smooth muscle cells. As a result, there is atrophy of the tunica media usually and therefore you get this tree bark appearance. And because there is loss of elastic fibers, there is also weakening of the wall of the aorta. And then sometimes there can be aneurysmal dilatation as you see here. And as a result of that, secondarily, the aortic valve ring also becomes dilated and this gives rise to aortic regurgitation. So just to summarize, here is a specimen uh, with the main pathology in the proximal ascending aorta. There is uh, aortitis with a tree bark appearance of the intima, and this is syphilitic aortitis. It is due to damage of the vasa vasorum, and as a result, there is aneurysmal dilatation of the proximal ascending aorta, and also aortic regurgitation because of dilatation of the aortic valve ring.